What is he doing? Nice. What is it? Sorry. It Team Delta it? Free Running. Yeah. Did Go subscribe, do? his link will be in the description whenever I find a share. I'll put a pot <laughs> tag on it like Jake Paul does. <laughs>what's up everybody it is a brand new day with a brand new vlog and actually it's a collaboration vlog today who are you i'm nobody dude y you're nobody <laughs> i'm actually andrew andrew hasley <laughs> his link will be in the description what? below <laughs> his link will be in the description below go subscribe to his channel and uh show him some love look at this guy as a matter YouTube. of fact <laughs> he's vlogging on his channel. my shit's gonna be in the description below so be sure to check it out it's gonna be a Interesting vlog. <laughs> it's gonna be a follow-up vlog for him. And uh Well, let's see how they Let's uh, go down that way. Let's go that way? Okay. Hopefully we don't get hit by a car. Let's, let's get, get hit, hit by, by a car. Let's just not look at the road at all. Just vlog <laughs> on the road. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Look at that. This is a regular bike, bro. Super quiet though. <laughs> <laughs> Super quiet, gas powered bike. That was super quiet. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the. Now it is. That would be a Mustang. <laughs> yeah. We're in But uh, yeah. Let's see if he fails or if he succeeds today. What yeah, do you I'm gonna. I'm gonna. What am I doing? What's up? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Welcome. I've, I've already introduced myself. Like I've already had my intro for this vlog. But I'm gonna try to get something to eat so that. Cause I'm kind of hungry. I mean, maybe I should do this on an empty stomach. I don't know. Like, I haven't eaten all day. I mean, I ate breakfast. Today, we, I'm going out. Okay. Do you want to know what I'm doing out here today? I am coming out here to see and approach girls, approach people with stupid questions, whatever. Girls, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to do, but the main goal is to try to score a date. Right. All right. So, for like the last hour, my buddy Andrew has failed his <laughs> mission. But we're gonna give it another 30 minutes, according to what he says. It hasn't been an hour. And uh, it's been like 35 minutes, give or take. Yeah. <laughs> give or take 35 minutes. Eh. Yeah. I don't know. But we're gonna give it another 30 minutes. If he fails, we're gonna move on. That's okay. No hate. Treat. Let's jump for the treat. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, well, after we get done doing his thing, then I'm gonna start doing mine. Oh, I don't and know we're gonna get some really and interesting answers while I'm asking some really interesting questions to random people out here on the streets, just to see what people think on the damn world. You yeah. dig? I dig. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah. So, let's see what he finds out. Leg insurance. Hey, nice. Did he make that corner? Look at this tiny ass truck. He's not going to make it. <laughs> Is he going to make it? Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl, back that truck up. Oh, my God, he made it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, you're good. <laughs> but we, we don't mind if people are in the shot. <laughs> yeah. Unless you guys mind. <laughs> All right. But, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna ask just about everybody. So, let's go. Alright. Good question for you. You guys mind if you're on camera? What do you guys think of the I don't think I should answer this. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. Have a good day. You too. Okay, well, they, they didn't feel comfortable answering, and nothing is wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna probably be getting that a lot. And that's totally okay. Got a question for a lot of you, and hopefully you guys are okay with being on camera. If not, that's fine. But what do you guys think about the Confederate monument that's being taken down? Dad? Not on camera. Yep, thanks. Excuse me, sir. Got a question. Right. If you don't have to answer it. Yeah. I'm recording too, by the way. <laughs> I asked the question, you might be on camera. You it just depends what it is. What do you think of the Confederate monument being taken across the United States? Uh, I don't know, it's a tough topic. Right. Uh, I'm a little bit frustrated because I think you can't change history. You can learn from it. Right. I think if you ignore it, if you ignore the things 
existing, you're trying to rewrite history and you can't do it right. So I think the only way you can learn from it is by keeping them there as a story. You don't have to glorify them. You just have to recognize that during the time, that's what was that's what was okay at that time. Right. It's not what's okay now, but if you don't learn from history, then you're going to repeat it. Right. And right now we're trying to ignore history um, and rewrite it. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to have negative effects. I think people just want to have a voice heard. And, you know, during the last presidential election, where were these riots for these monuments? So I think it's just for the times right now. I think it's big, it's news, but I think it's poor that we're doing it in the sense of take it away and ignore it. Okay. That's an awesome answer. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, just a more warning: this will be up on YouTube later today. Yeah, that's fine. And it's, it's all good. It's not a controversial answer. It's not a you know. It's not a feel good answer. I think it's reality. I think For sure. You can't rewrite history, so if you don't learn from it. You're just you're gonna repeat yourself. Definitely. So have fun, guys. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, man. No problem. Have a good day. You too. All right. So so could you tell me? The backstory. Mainly, I was I got a job working at Pickle Beats originally. I moved into this house back in October. I lost my job at Pickle Beats. I got another job working down here on the Kansas Missouri Plaza, doing uh, cleaning up the office buildings, pretty much. Okay. Uh, I used to be a pain handler before I got that job. So when I got the job, there was already several complaints against me. Pretty much because of the fact that I used to be a pain right. They didn't want me working in their offices. They emailed, like my boss almost like once a week, I was getting an email and complaining about me being in their buildings because they didn't trust me. Right. And so my boss was like, well, I don't see a problem with it because her, you guys' offices are being cleaned yeah. right. Well, right. The only complaint I'm getting is the fact that she's still moving. Right. So you got to the point where the corporate stepped in and was like, you're going to have to let her go. Right. She's going to get too many complaints about me. But my boss was like, but she's not doing nothing wrong. Right. She was a parent. That's why they don't want her there. Right. Well, they're the tenants. They pay the rent. They they had that right. So they didn't have no choice but to let it go. Right. And so I was like, okay. So when we went to court on August 3rd, I was like, okay, I can pay every two weeks. Because at the time, I was I was still working. Right. And so they was like, first payment that you don't, you know what I'm saying, make, you have to get out. So, the final week, it was like that one day, I literally went to work. They were, they was like, well, we have a write up, blase, blase. I'm like, well, I'm gonna come on you and rip and see about this, you know, termination, whatever, write up, whatever. So, the next day, I'll come in, well, I called her all that day, try to, you know, get her to answer her phone, let her know I'm on my way because my bus had broken down. I get literally to here to work, and the next thing you know, she finally answers the phone after all day of not answering no phone, no text message, no nothing. She's like, why are you on your way to work? You're fine. I'm like, what do you mean? I literally started bothering her because I love that job. You know what I'm saying? And so it costs $1,000 to move in. I've literally been saving every bit of little money I can get to go towards this house. 